Hello everyone, and welcome to our video on why your dog keeps peeing in the house. If you're dealing with this frustrating issue, you're definitely not alone. Many dog owners struggle with their pups having indoor accidents, but fear not we're here to get to the bottom of this problem and give you some helpful solutions. Now, I know how upsetting it can be when your beloved four-legged friend starts having accidents around the home. It can really put a damper on your special bond. But the good news is, there are usually some clear reasons behind this behavior. And once you identify the root cause, it becomes much easier to put an end to the indoor peeing. So why does your dog keep peeing inside? Let's explore the most common culprits. First up, your pup may simply not be fully potty trained yet. This is especially common in young dogs or those that are newly adopted. They haven't quite grasped the concept of only going to the bathroom outside. The solution here is to really ramp up your potty training efforts. Take your dog out more frequently throughout the day at least four times, if not more. And be sure to reward them with treats and praise when they do their business in the right spot. Consistency and patience are key when house training a dog. Another reason your dog may be peeing indoors is stress or anxiety. Changes in your home environment, the arrival of a new pet, or even loud noises can cause a lot of distress for our canine companions. And when they feel anxious, it can lead to accidents. To help a stressed out dog, try using calming techniques like soothing music, pheromone diffusers, and giving them a safe, quiet space to retreat to. You can also work on building their confidence through positive reinforcement training. Addressing the root cause of their anxiety is crucial. Now, if your dog is not spayed or neutered, territorial marking could be the culprit. Intact dogs often feel the need to stake their claim on their surroundings by leaving little urine spots in multiple areas. This is their way of scent marking their territory. The best way to curb this behavior is by getting your dog spayed or neutered. This will help reduce those hormonal urges to mark their territory. Just remember, if your dog has been doing this for a while, the habit may be hard to break, even after the procedure. And lastly, some dogs, usually the younger ones, may pee a little when they get super excited or feel submissive. This is known as submissive urination, and it's their way of showing deference to people or other pets. To minimize this, try to stay calm and avoid overwhelming your dog when greeting them. You can also use calming techniques like giving them a treat or turning away to ease their excitement. Building up their confidence through training can also help curb this behavior over time. So in summary, the most common reasons for indoor peeing are incomplete potty training, not going out often enough, territorial marking, stress anxiety, and submissive urination. Identifying the specific cause for your dog is key to finding an effective solution. And of course, don't forget to rule out any underlying medical issues. Conditions like urinary tract infection, diabetes, or kidney disease can all make it harder for a dog to hold their bladder. If you've tried everything and the accidents persist, it's time to get your pup checked out by the vet. Remember, dealing with a dog that's peeing in the house can be frustrating, but with patience and the right approach, you can get the problem under control. I hope this video has given you a better understanding of why your canine companion may be having these indoor accidents and how you can put an end to them. Thanks so much for watching, and don't hesitate to let me know if you have any other dog-related questions. I'm always happy to help.